Hi there everyone, greetings and welcome to a freezing cold West Yorkshire. As I look out of the window there, I can see it's snowing today, it is that cold. To all the family members and subscribers, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you all, truly I do. Please keep those comments coming. Um, <clears throat> and please keep hitting that like button. I will answer the comments. Right folks, another taste test now and this is a Chef Select uh, Beef Casserole from Lidl, £2.79 and this is tender British beef and vegetables in a, a rich a red wine gravy topped with two herbed dumplings. 450 grams and there it is folks the ingredients are British beef water herb dumplings wheat flour calcium carbonate iron niacin thiamine vegetable oil rapeseed oil baking powder raising agents diphosphates sodium carbonates wheat flour, uh, parsley, carrot, swede and onion, 3.5% red wine, tomato puree, calcium carbonate, uh, salt, lemon, beef fat, garlic puree, Worcester sauce or Worcester sauce, <laughs> they actually says on here, WOR, C H T S T um spirit vinegar sugar tamarind paste ginger garlic barley malt extract cloves black treacle salt beef gelatine and ground black pepper and there you go folks the nutritional information is there should you wish to stop the video and take a look. I've done mine in the oven rather than the microwave because I don't like using the microwave. <coughs> you know, it's just one of those things some people do, I don't. And that's what it looks like, folks. And as always, it's down to the taste test. I can smell the, the red wine there. What shall we try first? Ooh. Try a bit of the beef first. There we go. It's very really nice, melts in the mouth. Good strandage. For my personal taste, again, <coughs> it needs salt, definitely needs salt, because it's largely flavourless. Try some of the dumpling. The dumpling's fine. Well, I'm saying it's fine again. It could do with that. For me, personally, 
lacking in that seasoning. So we'll add a bit more folks. I'm going to use sea salt, but I'm sure somebody will tell me that this is no better for you than rock salt. And see what that does for it. Got some of the meat and the vegetables there. <laughs> it's amazing. That little bit of salt makes all the difference. It really does. Health issues, I understand. I really do because I've got plenty of my own. But without seasoning, these meals are just tasteless. The dumpling there, with that little bit of added salt, is very, very good. No issues at all. <coughs> Here are some more of the vegetables. For me personally, Without the addition of salt, I wouldn't have enjoyed this at all. It would have just been another very boring dish. But, with the addition of salt, it's lifted every flavour to another level. It really has. Again, I've said it before, I am of a generation where everything was seasoned. Everything was cooked in lard. And nowadays with the supposed health issues <clears throat> we're now beginning to find them in the cooking oils as well. I'm not advocating that you use lard. But for me again personally Food without seasoning, it's just so bland. And I am expecting a, a bit of flack for that comment. <clears throat> but, just look at people, look at the channels like Paparoni. How many times is he having to add salt, pepper, lemon juice to what he's buying just to make it palatable? Would I buy this one again? No, I wouldn't. Is it worth £2.79? There's plenty of it, so maybe it is. Mm. 
but to be fair, without the addition of salt, <coughs> it's, it's like eating nothing, which is a shame. The serving grace in this meal are the dumplings. Um, five out of ten. These chef select products are very, very hit and miss. If you check the other food reviewers, you'll see the Chef Select from Lidl is like that. Right folks, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, please hit the like button. Leave a comment in the box below. Hit the bell icon for any future uploads. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, come and join us. Don't cost you a penny. Become part of that bigger family. So, as always, I will say to you all, Namaste. Have a brilliant Friday, everyone. And I'm hoping that I'm wrong and the snow doesn't start to fall. But it looks like it could. Bye for now, everyone.